changing because of genetic selection. They can either undergo subtle genetic changes through mutation or important genetic changes through recombination. And it happens when the virus has infected a human cell. It starts copying its own genetic material and at that point it's going to make errors that will be incorporated in the viral genome. What's interesting is that mutations most of the time have no impact, but sometimes it can give an advantage to the virus, making it more contagious, and sometimes it can give it a disadvantage, making it harder for the virus to infect a host. What's interesting is that SARS-CoV-2 is actually uh, replicating and mutating at a lower pace than other viruses such as HIV. But there are thousands of mutations still that have been uh, identified. And in some cases, it can give rise to a variant like we're seeing in the southeast of England, in South Africa, or even in Japan. There are other variants that you haven't heard about that were detected, for instance, in Spain last June, but that didn't raise any concerns. The only reason why the scientific community would be concerned about mutations are if there are too many genetic modifications on a strain that shows that it is swaying away from the dominant strain. And at that point, health authorities need to track these variants to see if indeed they are becoming the dominant strain.